So I'm just caught behind my desk here doing a bit of farm business and um, I'm being distracted uh, by all the excitement of the convention coming up here. Things are coming together quite nicely. February 22nd and 23rd, uh, the Manitoba Beekeepers Association is holding its 113th annual convention. Les Eccles coming up. He's uh, the lead to the tech transfer program down in Ontario. He's been the lead since 2011. We have Les coming up to basically talk to our membership about the, uh, the tech transfer program they have going on in Ontario and how the program um, <clears throat> you know, relates value directly down to the beekeepers within the province. Um, and we'll also have them coming up to maybe, you know, to speak on how maybe we could get one established up here in Manitoba because I truly believe that we need a tech transfer program up in Manitoba. You know, sitting here as director on the MBA and I'm sitting as research chair. And I'm, you got to realize I'm just a farmer and I'm busy and I have a family. And, but I have all this ambition, all this energy and all these ideas that I want to have done. And I want to move projects forward and all this kind of stuff, but I don't know how to do it. You know, I can't just go out and strike out uh, research projects and such like this and I need, we need, our, our association needs a function where we can take guys like me who are really good at pounding the table, right, and making a lot of noise and just push all these projects, all this energy towards, you know, a program, towards somebody who then can take it and take all the ideas and all this energy and all this enthusiasm and, and build action around it. You know, my whole intention of being on the MBA is to, you know, create some kind of facility to bring more tools back down to the beekeeper level. I truly believe that beekeepers are, have become forgotten as agriculture progresses. Beekeepers, the beekeeping industry has just kind of been left behind and we're just kind of invisible to everything that's going on. We have no solutions to any of our problems. We have very little investment. We have a lot of attention towards our industry, but none of that's translating into actual tools that I can take into my apiary to solve my issues. As agriculture progresses and as our landscape changes, we need help. The beekeepers need help to be able to um, adapt and evolve to our changing landscape and our changing realities as we're being influenced by more disease, um, the hives are experiencing more malnutrition, uh, maybe there's more pesticide exposure out there, uh, just our management practices are changing, just a whole ball of problems that's going on within our apiaries right now. And we just need help to decipher some of those issues in, and translate into actual solutions to these problems. And that's what's going on in Ontario right now. Um, and the good work Les is doing behind the tech transfer program uh, just a little bit of a bio here of his. Les has been instrumental in responding to industry management needs, developing best management practices, and providing workshops for both beginner and expert beekeepers. These include BMPs for a small hive beetle, varroa, noosema, nutrition, and overall biosecurity. Les's special interest is in honeybee breeding and stock replacement. Over the years, he's focused on developing the Ontario Resistant Honeybee Selection Program, or the ORHBS. So this is exactly what we need here in Manitoba. We need some kind of a, a program that is uh, research-based, focused on research, um, working directly with beekeepers and their issues uh, that's important to them. To translate that research into providing more tools in the hands of beekeepers, and you know solving some of these issues that we have within our apiaries. So this is why we brought Les up to talk directly to our membership about uh, their tech transfer program down there and um, you know just maybe putting the gears in motion to maybe what we should be doing is um, first off we need a business plan develop a business plan so we know um, what this program's all about, we know the costs of it, we know how to develop it, all the stages and all the steps have it laid out in front of us 
to see um, what can be achieved and to see how we can achieve it. That's the first thing we got to do, and we're going to be talking to our membership about that. We got to lay out the plan.